Hello, hello, hello. This is Rebecca uh, from Journal Tsunami and Mastering uh, Low Content Book Mastery. And I just wanted to give you a quick tip today on really how to protect your account. In this particular case, it's about trademark infringement. Um, I had been doing some research and came upon uh, this account and really unfortunately many many people i see doing low content books are violating trademark so if you're doing things that have disney characters on them pokemon you know any kind of marvel comic characters any of those things that are basically very popular but you don't have the rights to sell them that is trademark infringement now, unfortunately, many people are doing it and Amazon hasn't really brought the hammer down. But in this particular case, they brought it down and brought it down kind of hard on this guy. Uh, he made a whole, he or she made a whole bunch of books. See, they're ranking and they have even reviews on them. But see this out of print? When you have a book that says out of print or out of stock and it's a KDP book, how do we know it's a KDP book? Well, we can see that it's independently published. So this guy lost his entire account. Um, it says out of print. So this is kind of a valuable thing to understand. When you unpublish a book, it never leaves Amazon because you have an ISBN on your book. When you get an ISBN number, that's basically like your book's birth certificate. So it's a legal record and documentation of the creation of your book. So when you unpublish books, this is what they look like on Amazon. They just say out of print and they still exist. And actually in, it, they can be sold by expanded distribution booksellers if you have checked that. And that means in this guy's situation, it's possible that even though these books were shut down for trademark violation, if any of these books get sold, he is on the hook to perhaps pay the company. Um, if they send him a cease and desist letter and those books get sold, he may be obligated to have to pay them, not just the royalty that he made, but tons and tons of money because of the trademark violation. So I just wanted to show you this tip. This guy had a thousand books, a thousand books. Every single one of them has been shut down. They're all out of print, all out of print. Uh, let me go all the way down. Here's page three, double check, out of print, out of print. So he did all that work and because of his foolish violation, he lost his entire account. So I just want you to be safe out there. Don't be like this guy uh, and do not do trademark violation. How to make sure that what you're making isn't going to be a trademark violation? Well, all you have to do is go to Google and type in checking trademarks. It's also a value to understand that trademarks are different in the United States. They're different in other countries. So personally, I stay away, absolutely stay away from any sort of football, baseball, uh, branded, any kind of sports, uh, soccer teams, you know, uh, you can have soccer as a generic niche with a soccer player on it, but when you start talking about teams, you're in trouble. Football teams and colors, baseball teams and colors, basketball teams and colors, movies, movie characters, uh, Disney, Disney prince, princes and princesses, uh, any of those kinds of things, you have the, the possibility of trademark infringement, and there's no excuse for not knowing because there's tons and tons of ways to look it up. There's the trademark, uh, United States trademark registration website. 
Uh, there's Trademarkia, the Trademark Engine. This is the main one, U, uh, USPTO.gov. That's the government.gov. That's the United States Government Trademark Office. And there's certainly videos on YouTube that can show you how to use these platforms. So don't be this guy. Don't get your account. Thousands of books, you know, uh, and, and they're actually ranking. So he sold them. So he's on the hook for every single one of these books that he sold that he made royalty on. He may have to pay a price for doing this. So don't be that guy. Don't be like this. Make sure your account is safe. Um, and just know that when you do proper research, there's no reason why you should be caught uh, with trademark violations in your inventory. So there you go. Have a great day. Bye-bye.